the outback is a very hot place, especially when you're tired and you've been walking all day. What this little penguin could do with is a nice cold drink. But it's not that easy to find one in the outback. Frank and Buster were out on their daily patrol, looking for anyone who might need their help. Is that someone there? Where? No, sorry. Just a rock. Uh-oh. Did you put fuel in the plane this morning, Buster? Ah, uh, no. Uh, neither did I. We'll have to walk home and get some fuel if we can find the empty can. Aha! Oh dear. Uh, which is the way back? I don't know. Everything looks different from down here. Ah, ah that, that way. way! Oh, that, that way? way? Ah, we are lost. What are we going to do? Frank, and this is Buster. Hello. Pleased to meet you. What's your name? <coughs> Ew. Do you need help? <coughs> you want something to drink? <coughs> and, and something to eat? <coughs> well, good thing we are here to help. Yeah. If only we weren't lost. Oh. Read maps, Frank? Oh, uh, of course, Buster. No, I'm afraid this map is broken. We can't use it. Broken? <laughs> oh, look! It's the homestead! I don't think that map was broken after all. Now, let's find you somewhere cool to sit and get you a nice cold drink. And some food. Quite right, Buster. We're here to help. Mm. Here you go. Before Frank and Buster could find out what their little friend liked to eat, they had to figure out what kind of animal she might actually be. Hi, Frank. Hi, Buster. Ned, can you come and... Oh, who's that? Where'd she come from? What's her name? What is she? We don't know, Mitzi. That's what we're trying to figure out. I think she's a duck. Oh, she's not a duck, Mitzi. Look, those are duck feet. I know duck feet when I see them. Are you a duck? <coughs> Maybe she's one of those. Uh. I still think she's a duck. Ned thinks she's a duck too, don't you, Ned? I, uh... Aha! Mm. I think I found you. Yes, yes, you're a penguin. Hello, little penguin. <laughs> we still say she's a duck. Uh, Ned, uh? are you coming? Oh. Uh. Hmm. It says here that penguins like to eat fish. Are you hungry? This is all we've got. I hope it'll do. 
Hey, hey, not so fast. She's finished already. If all she eats is fish, we're going to have to get some more. And pretty quickly. Frank and Buster soon realised that the little penguin could catch as much food as she wanted to eat. Look, Frank. Before long, she was making herself quite at home. forever. Breakfast time, little penguin. Where are you? Oh. I, I think she's leaving. Yes. She's had a good rest and she's got some more water now and some food. So? So it's time for her to go. <laughs> but there was one more thing she wanted. Say cheese! Cheese! cheese. I think she wants a picture with you now, Mitzi. With me? to ask you something. Where's the plane? The plane! Better not forget this. Oh. Mm. Goodbye, little... um... penguin? Thanks for finding our plane. Yes, thank you, little penguin. Now we can get back to helping everyone again. This time, she helped us. <laughs> Goodbye, little penguin. And so Frank and Buster learned that everybody needs help sometimes, even the koala brothers. But that's not quite the end of our story. Sometime later, Frank and Buster had a visit from George, the postman. Good day, Buster. Just one letter for you and Frank today. It's from Antarctica. It still feels cold. Thanks, George. <laughs> it's from our little penguin friend. It says here her name is Penny. Oh, I hope she'll come back to visit us soon. You know, I'm going to miss that duck. In the outback, it's not that easy being a postman. Especially if you're a turtle. George was running late as usual. <gasps> but he was doing his best. George always likes to deliver the post in person, rather than leaving it in the post box. That's because his favourite part of the day is when he gets to say good morning as he hands over the post. <sighs> morning, Ned. Morning, George. Is there anything for me today? Well, uh, let me have a little look-see. Uh, here you go. Ah, thanks, George. Hi, George. 
Good day. Now, what have I got for you today? Hmm. Now, one for you, Frank. Thanks, George. And one for you, Buster. Ah, oh, thanks, George. Hi, George. Have you got anything for me? Hey, morning, Mitzi. Uh, let's have a little look-see. There's three for you, Mitzi. Three? Hey, wow! <laughs> Thanks, George. Oh, I only got one. Come on, Buster. We've got work to do. You work in a post office, George. I expect you get lots and lots of letters, don't you? Um, no, not, not really. You don't? Not often, no. Bye, Mitzi. Now, George would never complain about not getting many letters. But Mitzi was surprised. Mitzi decided that she was going to write him a letter. Mitzi loved writing letters to her friends. But sometimes she wasn't quite sure what to say. Dear George, I like you because you're slow. Oh, no, <laughs> that's rude. Because you bring my letters. No, he knows that. You make me very happy because you bring letters from my friends. Um, so I know what they're doing. Um, love Mitzi. There, that's it. After all that, <laughs> she decided to start again. The next morning, just as George was emptying the post box in town... George! George! Wait! I've got this for you. For me? Yes. I wrote you a letter. Oh, Oh, thank you, Mitzi. You have to put it in the letterbox, though. But it's for you. Yes, but you've got to put it in the box so I can collect it properly. Oh, OK. Well, yeah. <gasps> it's for me! Yes, that's what I just said. Oh, that's really nice. I'll read it later when I've finished delivering the post, so I can look forward to it. Oh, OK. I'll put it right here, where it's safe. One thing was for certain. Getting a letter from Mitzi put George in a really good mood for the rest of the day. Morning, Sammy. Morning, Josie. Morning, George. Look, I got a letter from Mitzi this morning. Oh, that's nice. Are you going to open it? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, I'm saving it for later. George told everyone that day how happy he was that he'd got a letter from Mitzi. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Now, a busy postman sometimes finds that with all the walking he does, his shoelace comes undone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh not again. Meanwhile, the Koala brothers were going out on their daily patrol. Stand by! Standing, Standing by! Chocks away, Buster! Chocks away, Frank! Get the gate, Ned! I'm getting the gate, Frank! Buckle up, Buster! George had been looking forward to reading Mitzi's letter all day. <laughs> oh. 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 Frank and Buster were looking for anyone in need of help. It's George! He looks a bit lost. But he's a postman. Postmen don't get lost. Looks like he needs help, though. What's up, George? Mitzi gave me a letter and, and I've lost it. I don't get many letters. 
Maybe you dropped it somewhere. Why not go back and search the way you came? That's a good idea. And we'll fly around and see if we can spot it from the air. Right. Yes. Thank you, Frank. Buster? Yes! Lots! Of what? Nothing! Nothing? Yeah! There's lots and lots of nothing! <laughs> uh, Buster! But then, something caught Buster's eye. Look! I found a letter on the road. I think George must have dropped it. Oh, well done, Alice. We've been looking for that everywhere. George will be really pleased you found it. Oh, oh, thank you, Frank. Thank you, Buster. Yeah, thank you, Alice. I've been looking forward to reading Mitzi's letter all day. Yeah. Bye. As George went back to delivering the post, Frank began to think. If getting just one letter made him so happy, I've got an idea. Let's get everyone to write George a letter. Yeah! And that's just what they did. Everyone wrote George a letter. The next morning, George went to the post box as usual to collect the letters. Oh, I can't wait! George found there was another letter for him. And another one, and another. In fact, they were all for George. <laughs> <laughs> They're all for me. <laughs> we know. We all wrote you a letter. <laughs> I wanted to write you a letter, George, to say something, but I couldn't think of the right words. And then I thought I could say it much better like this. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone, and, uh, and you, Buster. I'm so pleased I, I don't know what to say. You know, if you replied to them all, you'd probably get lots more letters back. Oh. And that's exactly what George did. Unfortunately, it took George so long to write replies to each of the letters that the post was delivered even later than usual. But nobody minded. It's good to make your friends feel wanted. If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, hey, hey.